Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Mello. I'm a broker associate and co-owner at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Today, we're in Port St. Lucie, Florida, which is on the east coast of Florida, a little bit south of Melbourne, a little bit north of Boca Raton. We're in a community called Lake Park at Tradition. It is a part of a larger area of Tradition, which has lots of communities. This is an active adult community, which is a 55 and up community. We do have GHO homes behind us that we're taking on tour. And the home behind me is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom home with a two-car garage and a den. The current square footage is going to be 2,036. That's not going to change, but the current base price is 464,990. That's the base price does not include lot premiums or upgrades. Lot premiums go from 5,000 to 45,000, just to get you an idea, plus upgrades. Now, if you're looking for a home in Florida, we'll have a link below where you can go in and search it. We'll ask for your name and phone number. Don't be afraid to give it. The worst thing that will happen is either myself or one of my team members may give you a call, say hi, and if you're browsing, just let us know. Absolutely fine. So let's talk a little bit about the outside of the home. So as you come up, we do have a two car garage. It's currently used as an office. But of course, when they sell the model home, they'll convert that back to a two car garage. We have some nice tropical landscaping right here in the front of the home with the palm trees. It does remind you that you are in Florida. Nice, beautiful, sunny day. As you can see here, we are currently in May of 2023. In front of us, we do have a covered entryway with a door in front. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. Let me go ahead and close the door behind me. As soon as I come in, we're in the entryway, the hallway going through to the main living area. We have this beautiful ceramic tile going throughout. That would be an example of one of the upgrades. Over to my right is going to be the entrance to the two-car garage. It's currently being used as an office, so I can't really show you how that's going to look, but this is a standard two-car garage. Over to my left is going to be the den. Now, this den could be the third bedroom. If you did want three bedrooms, that there is an option. I'll show you how the floor plan changes in just a second, but Currently set up as an office, a nice space. You got the window looking out the front, so you're nice and convenient for when deliveries come. We even have a closet, so that's where that extra third bedroom comes in. So let me have Haley, who's working the camera today, go out by the front door, and you'll get a really good idea of what you see when you come in the door. And of course, the first thing are the really nice elevated ceilings above us, and with this beautiful light fixture, they have the tray ceiling. They even have some really beautiful wood paneling going across that tray ceiling as well. Lots of crown molding. All those things would be things that you could do either after the fact or through the builder if you so desired. So let's go ahead ahead and go down this area as we come through you can see the hallway goes to the main living area but before we do that let's go ahead and go right and show you what we have down this hallway uh, the first thing is going to be the full bathroom so this is one of the two bathrooms in the home of course we have the really nice white cabinets beautiful solid surface countertops mirror toilet and we have a tub with some nice tile work and a little decorative tile going along the midway of the tile as well so as we go to the right we go into bedroom number two and this is a really interesting design because this one's been changed a little bit from their base design. We have plenty of space here for a king size bed if you want, and table. I have a couple of light fixtures coming down from the ceiling as well. Crown molding going all the way around, a couple of windows looking out in the side yard. However, uh, this specific model is this one right here with all these changes in reds. And what it is, is it's changing from a bedroom with a solid wall along this area to a master bedroom number two. So you have your primary suite and your secondary suite and all joined with the bathroom right in between. So this is convenient for those of you that don't sleep with your spouses that snore. Um, you can have the two different areas. So very, very convenient for any other reasons you might want to use it. The closets behind us is also a really nice size closet. Um, now, if you do do that other option with the three bedrooms, the closet and the bathroom do switch around. So let's go ahead and go back through this area. And what we'll do is go across the hallway and show you the laundry room. So follow me over here. As we come through, this door goes into the air handler and then we're into the laundry room. We have the washer dryer, plenty of nice upgraded cabinets with the white and of course the countertop sink, window looking out to the side yard, plate cabinets on the side on the upper level as well. So let's go ahead and go to the main living area. So follow me in this direction. And we come into our family room, our dining room and our kitchen. So let's talk about the kitchen first. We're really nice size center island beautiful countertops here currently set up for four people to sit around three pendant lights coming down from the ceiling over to the left we do have a pantry let me go ahead and open that so you can get an idea of what the size of the pantry is so a little space for all your dry goods as we continue through the kitchen we have our side-by-side -side whirlpool refrigerator and then we continue with these really beautiful white cabinets solid surface countertops backsplash going all the way along and of course we have a five burner electric stove top microwave as we continue on the other side, by the center island, we have the sink and of course our dishwasher. Plenty of space here, lots of cabinets, so you have lots of space for storage in this kitchen. And then we can we end off with our double oven. So right next to the kitchen is gonna be the dining room. The dining room is currently set up for eight people to sit around. Nice, beautiful light fixture coming from the ceiling, tray ceiling with that same sort of 
wood inlet design going across that we start in the entryway. We have a window for some natural light over on the sidewall and of course a window looking out in the sitting area. Now this was also an additional uh, add-on to the home right in this area. This is where the wall would typically be. They pushed it out a little bit, it takes a little bit away from the outdoor living area but gives you a lot more space there that's air conditioned in the house. So that's a really nice feature for this specific design as well. So as we come over, we see the family room. Family room is large, especially for this size house. Plenty of space here to sit around, gather, watch TV, talk, whatever you wanna do, play board games. You know, they put this really nice accent wall that you probably have to do after the fact. Most builders don't include, like don't have an option to do that, but it's pretty simple to do if you want it to do afterwards. And we have crown molding all the way around. Uh, behind me, we do have the sliding glass door going into the outdoor living area. It's currently paved. Um, it is a nice big covered area. Actually, let me go over here and open this up. Um, we have a sitting area for dining. So currently set up for six people to sit around. And then if you look around, they have a little sitting area as well, screened in and looking out onto the backyard. Let me go ahead and close the sliding glass door. The last stop is the primary bedroom. So follow me through this door and we'll go into the primary bedroom suite. We have the king size bed, couple end tables on either side, crown molding, a tray ceiling, nice light fixture coming down from the center as well. Window looking out on the backyard. And next stop would be going down this hallway, showing you the closets and then going into the bathroom. So on the right side, we do have a smaller closet. On the left side, a much larger closet. You can definitely put some custom cabinets in here and get a lot more space out of that closet if you so desire. And then we come into our towel closet and the main primary bathroom, which I think is an amazing primary bathroom. They have really nice upgraded tiles all throughout the floor. These really nice bluish gray cabinets, solid surface count, counter top, vanity area with sink on one side, sink on the other side, storage areas in the center, mirror that's framed in that same bluish gray color. Over on the other side, we do have a large walk-in closet, a walk-in closet, walk-in shower. As we come in, we have a window up here that gives you a lot of natural light, but also gives you privacy because you're below that area. Um, and as we continue, all the way to the end, we just have the water closet to the left. So everything you need. And then if you do this really thing, you have that pocket door going into that secondary bedroom as well, which I think is a really cool design for those that do desire that. So I wanna thank everyone for watching this and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My phone number is 407-487-3030. Thank you all and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.